ponytail it is. Hello YouTubers, my name is Eggy and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is <coughs> This is a Madoka Yuki trimming style fresh berry from Kotobukiya. And on today's video, I'm going to build this. Now, Kotobukiya makes a lot of Mega Musume kits of different lines. Some are good and some are bad. This is their latest brand called Social Shoujo Tain, and unlike Frey Mom's girls' kids, they are simple high school girls. And having built this, I can definitely tell that Kotobukiya knows how to please us weebs. Inside the box, there were several high quality plastics that are simple with a well sculpted shape. Just looking at these runners, you can tell that this is going to be a simple build. Like other Kotobukiya kits, there were several pre painted parts, including a very well detailed underwear and one rubber-like material for our hands, a simple stand with a unique base design, and a sheet of water slide decals. The instruction manual was high quality, it was a cute art of Madoka in the front. There were several pictures inside with the customization options, and neat coloring section in the back that can help out people who are painting this kit. Building this kit was easy, instruction was well laid out and parts came out of spruce easily, and they were easy to clean. There were a lot of flash marks that needed to be cleaned, but due to the high quality plastic, that was easy. There were some parts such as her hands that were a bit tedious to build, but all parts fit properly without any issues and within few hours, I was able to finish this without any issues. And I lost the rest of the video footage. I'm sorry, I was trying a different camera setup. Anyways, this is how the kit looks like built straight out of the box. She is gorgeous, even without any work. She is sculpted beautifully and she presents the charm of the Anaheim High School girls really well. Her build was simple, but unlike Sophia, her design itself is simple, so it really works well here. She looks great even without painting, so the plan was to leave her in a straight build. But the more I stared at her, the more I had a need to paint her. Before painting, some parts needed to be cleaned up mostly seam lines. She had a lot of seam lines, especially on her sweater and her hair. Most seam lines were clean with a Tamiya thin cement. However, some seam lines had a large gap, so some putty was knitted. In this case, I used Tamiya putty. Once everything was done, I cleaned each part with a warm soapy water to prepare for painting. I began painting by applying primers on all parts. This allows the paint to stick better to the surface, but it also allows me to see any imperfection caused by my sanding. For painting, I began by painting dark shade as a base color and applied lighter shade as a highlight. On some places, I applied either darker or lighter shade to get more natural looking shading done on her. I did this to her clothing and to her skin tone, and it came out great. Once all painting was done, I sealed it using a varnish. Once the varnish has been cured, I applied the included water slide decals. Kotobukiya was thoughtful and has included lines that are on the color as a water slide decal. 
Otherwise, I would have to painfully mask the lines and paint them. It was however a bit hard to align. Still, I am grateful that Kotobuki has added this. I also did some pastel shading on her clothing that has smaller creases such as her underwear. This allows me to do the subtle shading that are hard to do with airbrush alone. For some small details such as her hairpin and a cell phone screen, I use acrylic paint and hand painted them with a brush. And here is a finished kit. She looks great even as an out-of-box build, but when you paint her, it really brings out her beautiful sculpting. She isn't anything special, she is a simple high school girl presented in anime, but somehow Kotobuki has made this kit a joy to build. Her simple build process works well here. It does limit her articulation, but it is not as bad as a Sophia, and with a separate sitting pose leg set, she can pull some poses. She is a bit pricey but she was fun to build, and she looks gorgeous even without painting. She also has a lot of customization options and potentials. Due to these reasons, I recommend this kit. Oh, as for what I chose for her hair, her mature straight hair is nice, and her sundere twin tail is playful, but I have to go with the ponytail. I am an Asian in heart after all. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button if you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Because on the next Let's Build series, I'm building this.